what's up? How you doing today? I figured I'd, I finally got around to replacing the starter on this 97 model Dodge Stratus. It's a 2.4 liter uh, four cylinder. And uh, so seems that the uh, problem did wind up being the starter. Even though you got to double check this stuff though. I still had the the old one tested just a few days ago at the parts store and it worked fine and I thought it would but that might just be with, with no load on it you know just no weight but you know you put some weight on it and it, it's it's worn out I guess not working but the, you know I've got another clip a band-aid fixed it for years for like a good two or three years with this little 20 amp circuit breaker and I mean for a good two three years it worked fine sometimes the thing wouldn't even trip so I didn't know if it was the starter or something in the wiring harness and even when I was about to buy the starter a few days ago I was double second guessing myself after it tested fine after the parts store tested it so you just got to double check this stuff and uh, you know it's not that bad the main to swap it out the hardest part is that bolt on the bottom and uh, if I had to do over again I would have found out what pitch size and pitch that bottom bolt is and replace it with a stud and a nut would make it way way so much easier because the top one's no problem to get to it just comes in this way and there's a threaded tapped hole in the starter housing and you can get to it that one pretty you got to take all this crap out of course and i went ahead and took the uh, uh transmission dipstick out of the way too made it easier but uh yeah anyway but yeah you just gotta double check and uh make sure the problem is the starter in this case it turned out it appears that it, it was the starter was the problem but uh Gonna say something else. Yeah, you, you and use use plenty of that uh, some dielectric grease on the connection electrical connections. I use you can get some that's uh, conductive. Uh, GB Garner Bender brand makes some called Oxguard that's got zinc in it, and it's actually conductive. You can use that kind inside of electrical electrical connections and switches, and then you can use the more common type. Uh, dielectric grease by Permatex or whoever on the outside and put the stuff on have a dedicated toothbrush to each different type and keep it with it and uh, that'll save you a lot of headache you can use that toothbrush and really work it into threads and nuts and bolts and stuff and then use that typical uh, dielectric grease on the outside um, crap I'm brain farting if I'm gonna say but yeah, that makes a, a huge difference and, and uh, helps keep good connections. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty decent car, even though, you know, I hesitated to replace that starter because, uh, you know, it's not like this car is anything special. I mean, you can see it, look at it, it ain't nothing. But you know what? It still runs smooth. The power windows work, the AC works. Um, brakes are kind of weak but uh, I don't know what's up with that I think I've had we've had less trouble out of this one than I have the 2004 my daily driver um, but it's got different bells and whistles there's trade-offs brakes are definitely better on the 04 um, anyway I, but yeah I, I hesitated replacing that starter because it, it advanced auto it was a hundred and 38 something dollars and uh, you know the car almost didn't even worth that much but it is nice to have a uh, backup car anyway so it's come in handy occasionally we need it I drive it on weekends and stuff so anyways hope that helps somebody have a good day Take care.